Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are coming up with some sort of mortar launching system uh, that is hopefully pretty good. I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it and see what happens, shall we? Okie dokie, so we're actually going to go ahead and start off with this. We need to get ourselves a warhead. We're going to start with the really tiny ones, and we're going to whack it straight on there. That seems pretty good. We also need, like, an on signal for this, because um, it needs to be able to hit something and then explode. Uh, so that makes sense, but we need to do this in order. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a rocket. Uh, we're going to need one of these, but we're going to go ahead and put one of these on first. There we go, and we're going to put one of these on afterwards. Here we go. Bam. There we go. It's essentially this big. This is how I want it to be, so this is how it's going to be, sort of, uh, and that makes sense. So we need an on signal. Here we go. Where does the on signal actually go? Where is it? Where is the on signal? Ah! There it is. Constant on signal. It's going to go there like that. In fact, actually, it's going to go on the other side like this, uh, and that seems pretty cool. Yes. All right. I do only want it to be one wide, so this does make sense uh, being this small, so that's A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and paint it a fun color, like red. There we go. However, actually, let's do it in frantic red. There we go. Excellent. So, let's say we've got this. Uh, very, very unique looking thing. Um, it's very small. And then we, we attached it to a launch, and then we launched it. In fact, actually, what we could do is cut this, put it there instead, get ourselves a hard point, uh, and we could launch it somewhat like this. So, we can put that right there. And we can launch a load of these uh, if we wanted to. Yeah. Okie dokie. So let's build ourselves a little setup here that will actually work. And hopefully it will actually work. So pivot, this is what we need. So we're going to go ahead and whack one of these. Uh, right about, I don't know, there. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and do this. All right. Excellent. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and get a hard point, which is one of these guys. And we're going to put that. Oh, actually, it needs to be right there. Bam. Delete these guys. Put this one on there. Let's go. Uh, bam! Excellent. So, in theory, when we press the button on this, uh, this should fire off and explode, essentially. So, let's get ourselves a button and see if this will actually work. Alright, push button. That's fine. Put that right there. Uh, put it right here as well and do this. Okay, so we have ourselves a little, uh, a little launching system for a little bit of a mortar kind of thing. So, there we go. Will this do anything? Who knows? Um... On signal, it will detonate when it hits, I don't know, let's say 5 meters per second. Uh, this will be A-OK. -okay. We need a battery. Da -da 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 -da. Delete these two, put the battery in right there. Okay, excellent. And we should be able to launch the mortar by doing this. Will it work? Who knows? Alright, spawn it in. Yikes. Okay, so we've realized that you actually have to spawn it on the floor in order for it to not die straight away, so that's good. Uh, these aren't actually linked together, so let me merge these back together. Unfortunately, I don't think they will. Ah, that's annoying. That's super duper annoying, actually. So let's grab this one. Uh, we'll just cut it. We'll move it out of the way. We'll put this in. We'll merge these guys together. We'll then delete this guy. Move this back in. Paste it. Merge this with this, and voila! We have ourselves a full-on piece. So, I know we're inside a building right now. Okay, so what was happening was it was just exploding straight away. So, we're actually going to go ahead and put it on 10 instead of 5, and hopefully this will work instead, but who knows. Go! Okay, it just exploded straight away. Again. What the heck? Why is this happening? Let's make it 15 instead, and then maybe that'll be okay. Alright, let me just pick up my little pieces. One second, I need my flashlight, and I need my uh, my binoculars. Alright, it exploded straight away again. This is so annoying. It shouldn't be doing this. It really shouldn't be doing this, but it is. So there you go. Uh, let's make it 20. Uh, and actually, you know what? Just to save time, we're actually going to go ahead and put it over here. There it is. Did that just go through the roof? I think it actually just fired itself. There it is. Wait. There. There it is. It fired itself through the roof. And now it's falling. And now it's falling. And it exploded. There. 
Okay, this works. Okay, so essentially what I want to do is I want to have lots and lots and lots of these actually fire off pretty much at the same time. So I guess we will. I think we can literally just grab this piece all the way up to there. Grab this piece all the way to here. Copy this. Move it across one. And just keep pasting it over and over and over and over and over again until we've got loads of them. And then we just have to put them on an angle. And then I think we're good. So keep pasting these. Here we go. We'll do five. Let's say. There we go. Excellent. Uh, we'll do this one as well. And then this one. Very good. Uh, and I think we'll actually have rows of them. So I guess this would go backwards one. And then up. It would have to go up two. There we go. Excellent. Paste it there. Bring it back across. Oh, this is going to be weird, but I think it'll work. All right, there we go. All the way across here like this. And then this would sort of get put on the back of a truck, let's say. So we'll have like a bunch of these. There we go. Excellent. Paste this one. Paste this one. Paste this one. And this one. There we go. And this one. And then that one. And we should be good. Okay, so essentially the way this is going to work is we'll connect all of these to each other. There we go. Uh, connect that one to there, which it already was. That's fine. Connect this one to all of these. There we go. And connect this one to there. We'll then connect all of these together. Oh, God. Okay, this is getting more and more tricky, but that's fine. Connect all of these together. There we go. And then we need extra buttons. So this is going to be... Whoa, hang on. Let me grab this button. Uh, this is going to be for the top row. That's going to be for the middle row. And this one will be for the bottom row. If we can do it that way. Here we go. So this will go on the bottom like this. Excellent. Right. Is this actually even going to work? Who knows? Oh, God. Okay. So push button is going to launch all of the top ones. There we go. Middle one currently launches just the one on the bottom. So we'll do this. There we go. Excellent. And then this one will launch all of these. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know why you'd do this, but it is a thing that we've now built. So that's good, I suppose. Okay, so this is our current setup. It's really weird, I know, but uh, there it is. Okay, so now, in theory, if I press this button, it'll launch uh, the first row, which is actually the bottom one. There we go. This one. And then this one. Okay. I kind of don't want it to be so aggressive. Like, I want it to be able to fire, but then stop firing straight away. And unfortunately, you can't really do that with these ones. Uh, burn rate, I want it to be maximum, but I don't want them to launch that far. I don't know how to make... I guess it might be XML edited. Um, but I want them to essentially, like, jump off, and that's it. Like, I want it to fire for a second, and then stop. But I don't know how you do that. Uh, I know a lot of people do actually do that with uh, certain things in the game already. Uh, but I've never used it, so I don't really know. Because some people launch torpedoes off boats, but they don't power it by a jet engine or anything like that. Or, or rockets. Uh, they power it via propeller, but they launch it off the boat with a rocket. So, I don't know. If anyone wants to help me out with that, that would be amazing. Although, this is just a random one-off video where I'm building something really random, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this to five. Go ahead and do this one. There we go. Uh, I don't know what you'd use this for either. Maybe this would be for, like, destroying submarines or something. You could launch a bunch of warheads into the water. They'd go down. If they touch the submarine, they'd explode. Um, but you'd need a little bit more logic to these uh, in order to actually do that. But still, it could be pretty cool. Uh, and in theory, what I'm doing right now is very silly. Because I might have to reverse all of this to 100, but we'll see. So we'll put this back to 5. Because these things are going to fly for a while if I just put it at 5%. Yeah, it's not going to make it burn, like, super fast. It's just going to make it burn super slowly. And the propulsion is going to be there for ages. So essentially what's going to happen. So if we do this, we spawn it in. I don't even know if they'll actually launch. We'll see. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, right. Let's grab these. Let's grab the entire thing. All right, this is going to be pretty weird. Let's grab literally the entire thing. I don't have a truck or anything that I've built to move these around on. So we'll have to just do with having them on nothing for now. But there we go. Go ahead and cut this. We're going to delete these. I know I just deleted the button, but that's okay. Uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and spawn it in this way around. Like this. Paste it. There we go. Very good. 
Uh, we're not going to use the buttons, so that's good. We can delete those. Uh, and realistically, we could actually put another rocket in right in the middle. Oh, yeah, we can. All right, okay. So grab. Oh, God. It's so hard to see what's what here. I want to grab this one and this. And we'll put a warhead on it. So copy this. Move it over. Move it forwards. Oh, God. Bring it down one? I can't actually see where this needs to... What do I have in my hand? I guess I could build it in, but... What have I got there? Paste it. Delete this one. Oh, no. Okay, right. You know what? It's fine. We'll leave it as is. We'll leave it without one here. That's actually A-OK. -okay. Uh, it kind of makes sense anyway. Right. Does it? It doesn't. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, deployable on the back of a boat, let's say. So we'll do this right here. We'll do this right here, and I think we'll actually just send this across. Yeah, we will. We'll do it like that. We'll do it like that. Excellent. Right, so it should be able to turn, um, which is fine. We need a pivot for that. There we go. Pivot, robotic pivot. Excellent. Go ahead and put that on there like so. That's good. And then do this on the tippity top to make it hidden, at least a little bit. There we go. Very nice. And then we also want it to be able to rotate itself up and down. So I'll actually put two of these on, uh, and we'll have it do this. So come out forwards, and slowly go down, I guess. So delete these two, and do this. There we go, excellent. And we'll also do this. Okay, so we got a little system. It should work. Who knows? All right, so in order to actually do this then, we need a helm. We're actually just going to go ahead and whack that on here. This is for testing purposes, remember, so it doesn't really matter uh, how this looks or how it works or anything like that, but... Oh, it matters how it works, to be fair. Yes, it does. But there we go. So this is our little system. Um, is it going to do anything? Who knows? Uh, maybe. <laughs> right, so one will fire the first row, which are going to be the top ones. Um, so let me do that real quick. All right, launch. All right, we're going to do launch, 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 launch. Okay, very good. Two is going to do the other bit. There we go. And then three is going to do the other one. There we go. And hopefully everything gets launched. Okay, excellent. That's all going to work. We need a WASD as well. So we'll do this and we'll do this. There we go. We also need a battery. So let's go ahead and whack one of these right here. Excellent. And merge it all together. So essentially this needs electricity to go to here, here, here. And then this one already is attached to everything else, but... We'll attach it to there, there, and there, and also there. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what it does. Yes. Okay, I think it might be too heavy for these pivots. I feel like it is. Okay, we can twist it. But the W and S thing, bit of an issue. Launch. Sick. Alright, this is cool though. Right, okay, I'm gonna put it on wheels right now for a test bed. And we'll see if it works. So, large wheels? No, we'll use these. Alright, we'll put it there. We'll put it here. There we go. They also need brakes. <laughs> so let's do that and see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Uh, brakes are gonna go on four. There we go. And we need this to be stronger, but I don't know how to make it, like super strong. I don't know. Depends which way the gears are, but... What just happened? Why did that one just explode? Okay. Right, we're good. We're good this time. Okay, the little setup that we've actually got for it doesn't really work uh, the way that we have it, so that's a bit of an issue. We can't have these um, like they are. We can't, we can't really do it that way. So, delete these for now. And we'll bring it into the bottom instead. Delete these two for now as well. Put it there. And then hopefully all will go well from there, maybe? Or maybe not. You know, maybe not. Look at how weak they are. It's so weak. Like, they're turning, but the top bit isn't turning because it's not strong enough to support it. Oh, that's super annoying. 
Alright guys, I've changed it a little bit, so obviously what I've done now is I've put the bigger pivots in and now we are able to do this, we're also able to do this, and we're also able to do this. Yes! Okay, excellent! So now, let's go ahead and push this thing outside and see what kind of damage it does to, I don't know, a forest maybe? I don't know what to, to fire these things at, who knows? But um, there we go, push it outside. We have brakes, remember, if we need them. But it's kind of annoying to do this, but whatever. There we go, okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's weird, I know, but whatever. Right, so realistically, I don't think we should have a pivot that turns it side to side. I feel like we should just have the up and down, that's it. So if we do this, uh, let's say we want to launch it there-ish. Go. They sort of launch themselves down, I don't know why. Alright, press three. Yes! No, okay, right, yes, this is kind of what we want anyway. We want them to fire up into the sky and then fall out the sky and blow up on the floor. So let's see what th where they go. Where are they? I don't know where they are. Oh, there they are. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I like it. I don't really want them to go up as high as they do, but there's no way of me actually stopping that from happening, so never mind. But anyway, go ahead and launch this one. There we go, launch the next one, launch the next one. You can't see what's going on, but that's fine. All right, there we go, they've all been launched. Those ones actually went way too far. There's more up in the sky, okay, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Where are they gonna land? Some have landed somewhere. I think those are the ones that went really far. Oh, here they come, here they come. Sick, I mean, it looks cool. It does look cool, I like it. And one of them actually returned to us. Look at this. It actually returned all the way home. Kind of interesting, but um, yeah, it's used now, so it doesn't matter. Okie dokie then. Well, I don't really know what else to do. I originally wanted them to all launch off one at a time, but I don't know if that's like a good idea or not. I guess it doesn't really matter, but here we go. Push it back outside again. We're going to launch them all upwards and hopefully all will go well. All right. Ready? Launch. One of them always goes a different direction, too. And I can't see anything once they've launched. Whoa, they all went in random directions that time. What about these ones? Where are these guys going to go? Oh, random directions again. Interesting. This seems like a, a weapon that, that wouldn't be allowed through the Geneva Convention. It just wouldn't be allowed, actually, because you don't know whether it's going to hit civilians or not. So, yeah. I built a um, an illegal weapon. Interesting. And there they go! Brrr, boom, 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 boom! Oh, that's sick. I mean, it's still cool. It is still cool. Guys, I've I've upgraded. I've upgraded the monstrosity. Look at what we've got now. Yes. All right, okay, we are ready to go. Let's get this thing outside. We'll launch them all at once as well. We won't even bother with uh, the scenarios. We're just going to go ahead and launch them all at once. All right, here we go. Outside a little bit further, please. Here we go. Excellent. And launch them all up into the sky. Very nice. Press 1, 2, and 3 at the same time. And watch the carnage, I guess. Alright, ready? One landed there. Oh, here we go. Here's the main bulk of them. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, why would you use one of these? You just wouldn't. You really, really just wouldn't use one of these. Also, what's happening to this one? so random so so random and now we get to do it in black and white oh this is excellent <laughs> what's the point of this i don't know i made it i made this i actually made this why did i make this i don't know right go one at a time this time all right so a few of them launch themselves down i don't know why a few of them do that the next one similar thing happened but they didn't go too far down and then the next one well they went straight up okay excellent Yes! Alright, let's get over there and see what kind of damage it's doing. Anyway, uh, random video. Thank you guys very much for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. We launched a bunch of I want to I wanna try and build an actual mortar, one where we like put 
put just a warhead into a tube and then it fires it out. I, I don't really know how I would end up doing that, but I think it would be pretty cool. Anyway, uh, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.